So hello and welcome to this uh, Adobe After Effects tutorial. Uh, we are going to create a simple animation and uh, right now you can see what we are going to be doing. Uh, I want to show you that I also created uh, the uh, very similar tutorial in Adobe Animate as uh, HTML5 animated banner and I'm going to provide the link in the description for that one and I also created in Adobe Animate uh, something interactive uh, with the JavaScript that we are going to have some icons and then we go with the mouse over them uh, we are going to show some text but uh, yeah in this tutorial we are going to go with this animation and uh, one last thing that I want to say is that I also created it is the, this tutorial in Spanish, also the Adobe Animate and this After Effects and I am going to provide the link in the description also for that one. So yeah, right now we can start. Alright, uh, so right now I am on the site Freepik and I am going to provide a link in the description and I am also going to provide you the Illustrator file uh, that uh, I am going to create. Uh, one thing that I want to mention is that if you want to use this commercially, uh, you will have to attribute the author or you can go premium on the free pick. Uh, it's uh, kind of cheap. So all I need to do is uh, click uh, download, then uh, free download and just save it to some place. I already did this, so I will just hit cancel and I will go to the place where I have it and it is going to be in here, a simple zip file and I'm going to right click, choose extract here and this is going to give me some files and I will double click on this IE or on this EPOS file and it is going to open me this in Adobe Illustrator. Now I will have to wait a few seconds, but uh, yeah, what can I do? All right, we are going to have some kind of warning about missing fonts. I am just going to hit close because uh, we are not going to use those fonts and uh, I am going to zoom in with the uh, Alt and uh, mouse wheel and I'm going to create new document, so Ctrl N or File New, and I will go with uh, 1920 by 1080, which is like a full HD size. Uh, and I'm just, I'm not going to change anything in here. Uh, I want this to be RGB 72 and so on. So just hit uh, Create. Uh, now I will go back in here and I will get my selection tool and I'm going to click and I will try to move and it is all grouped together. I will just hit back, Ctrl Z, and I am going to right click and I'm going to choose uh, ungroup. And right now, if I try to move this, it is still going to be together. Right now, the background is separated. Uh, so one more time, I will have to right click, choose uh, ungroup uh, until I will get them separated. So right now, this CBD oil, uh, it's, uh, it's separated. So I'm just going to drag it to the new file like so. And I'm going to scale this with uh, shift and uh, alt. Uh, shift to stay proportional and alt to go from the center. This is maybe too much, so something like this. This depends on you. And now I am going to get uh, these icons and this uh, text. So if I click on this icon, I can see that this background and this icon is separated. So what I'm going to do is I will click on the icon and with shift I am going to click on this uh, background. And at the same time, I am going to click with shift on this uh, text. So right now I have these three uh, pieces together and I'm going to hit Ctrl G or you can uh, right click and uh, right now I have option group, but uh, ungroup, but you can group it. Uh, yeah, so one more time uh, with uh, this one. So I will click on this, on the background, on the text, uh, right click and uh, group. And we are not going to go with uh, all uh, four of them, only with three of them. So right now this one, this one, uh, this one and control G and now I am going to get them uh, to the new document so I will click on this with shift on this and on the last one and I am just going to drag it to the new document like so. Uh, now I am going to uh, scale them together so I am going to select them and uh, one more time with uh, shift I am going to scale it uh, maybe like uh, so. Uh, I think that this is uh, fine for now uh, so yeah. Uh, the next thing that I need to do, I do not need, but I want, is um, I, I have the second free pick file and it is this uh, hands, so you can download it the same way as uh, the first one and I will go to the place where I have it and I will very simply one more time extract here and I will double click on this EPOS and I'm going to get this one hand and put it in here like so and I'm just going to scale it a little bit like so. So I would like to have it 
maybe a little bit uh, bigger so yeah something like this and i think that uh, this is fine uh, so right now uh, i will go to the layers your illustrator may look a little bit different but uh, if you don't have layers or anything that i have in here you can go to the window and uh, in here you can uh, you can get it here are layers for example uh, but yeah uh, now uh, this is something that you do not need to do but i want to just show you because uh, yeah uh, if i am on the layers and i will click these three lines uh, I can go to the panel options and uh, I am going to choose this uh, other and I'm going to put this to be 60 and I'm going to click OK. And this is just going to make my layers to be bigger visually so you can see this uh, better. So yeah, these three lines, panel options and you can choose small, medium, large or you can choose whatever size that you want because otherwise you wouldn't be able to see this very well. So I have five layers, one is hand, uh, three are these icons with the text and one is this oil. And what I want to do right now is uh, it is all in this layer one. And I'm going to uh, one more time click on these three lines and I'm going to choose uh, release two layers sequence. And uh, now what I need to do is select them and drag them outside of that layer. Right now the layer one is going to be empty, so we can delete this like so. So right now we have uh, five layers and uh, we can save this and we can go to the Adobe After Effects. And as I said to you, I am going to provide you this illustrator in the in this illustrator file in the description. It looks right now weird because of the hand, uh, but uh, yeah. So I am just going to save this Control. S and I will go to the place where I want to save it very fast. So it is going to be it's this one and I'm going to create new folder which is going to be illustrator and maybe I'm going to misspell something but I don't care and this untitled name is fine so I'm just going to hit save I don't want to change anything I'm just going to click OK uh, so right now I am going to open my After Effects and I will see you there in the moment all right, so uh, right now I am in the After Effects and uh, all I am going to do is uh, open my Illustrator uh, folder and I have this untitled file, very descriptive name and I am just going to drag it uh, in here like so and uh, I want this as a composition, I want this as a layer size, I don't want to change anything in here so I will just click OK. So right now I am going to have this uh, composition in here and I am going to double click and it is going to open me this in here. Uh, so first of all is uh, we could go ahead and name these layers at least a little bit so uh, if I am going to go on this layer I will hit enter and this is going to be oil uh, this one is going to be uh, icon one this one is going to be icon number two this one is going to be uh, icon number three I hate these namings but yeah what can we do and this one is going to be uh, hand uh, right now I would like to have uh, some background so very quickly layers new come on layers new uh, solid and uh, I am going to go with white color so I'm just going to click OK or once you created the, the solid and if you would like to change the color you can just go to the layer solid settings and right now we could go ahead and change this but I do not want to do that and I'm going to drag this uh, solid uh, on, at the bottom I could go ahead and name it to the background but I don't care I am just going to log this all right, uh, so right now I am going actually uh, hide everything that we have in here and we are going to do the animation uh, with the with the oval tool with with the with the shape. So I will uh, I will make sure that I have nothing selected because if I have something selected, I'm going to create a mask on that layer. So uh, just click anywhere to deselect everything and I will go to the uh, to the shape tool and I'm going to get an ellipse tool uh, in here we have the fill and stroke or you can maybe have uh, something like uh, red color and something like this I don't know uh, that doesn't matter right now all, all I am going to do is with shift I am going to create a shape like this and now I am going to get rid of the stroke and I am going to change the fill color and uh, yeah I am not going to spend a lot of time with this so I am just going to choose something very quickly something like this is fine uh, now 
uh, what I want to do is uh, I would like to align this to the center. And uh, first of all, uh, when I'm going to click on this, uh, I can see this that the anchor point is uh, in here. Uh, so you can click this uh, uh, pan behind tool or short, shortcut is uh, Y. And right now I'm going to be able to move the anchor point. And if I'm going to hold control, it is going to snap me uh, to the corner or to the side. And I would like to get this to the center. Now I am going to align this. So I will click on this and I'm going to go to the align and I'm going to align it like so and like so. Uh, one more time, if you don't see align or anything, um, I have this uh, window workspace uh, where it is uh, ch -ch 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 workspace uh, and I have default. You can go ahead and uh, I can set the reset default. Uh, to say layout so yeah or you can go to the window and get your align if you don't have it but yeah hopefully you can see it somewhere align and i'm going to align it i already did this so yeah uh, now i am going to go ahead and animate this so i'm going to hit s for the scale or you can just open this and find uh, it, it find it in the transform uh, the scale but i'm just going to hit s and uh, at the beginning, I am going to put it to be like you can put it zero or you can put it to be something very small. And I'm going to uh, create a keyframe. And now right, right now with the shift and page down, I am going to go maybe 50 frames or you can just uh, zoom in a little bit. And uh, that's too much maybe. And you can just uh, move like so. So this is five frames, 10 frames. Uh, here we have one second and so on, but I, I like to use this shift and page down. This is going to move me 10 frames. So 10, 20, 30, 40, uh, 50. We can adjust this later on. And uh, in here, I'm just going to make this uh, bigger like so. So right now we are going to have uh, this kind of animation. I'm going to hit space. Uh, I would like to create some kind of easings. Uh, but I am not uh, very sure how familiar you are with the graph editor. So uh, what you can do uh, if you are not very comfortable with the graph editor, uh, you can just go ahead and select uh, this keyframe and click F9. And this is going to be fine. It is going to create an easing on uh, on this uh, on this keyframe uh, but what I want to do is I'm going to select both of them I'm going to click F9 I'm going to click this uh, graph editor and it is going to put me uh, this kind of uh, graph and you can in here put the uh, fit all graphs uh, to view something like this but I prefer to don't be as much zoomed I like it like so because if I'm zoomed in uh, too much it's like uh, uh, I can't do it as I want as much as I would like to so I prefer to have it maybe like so and I can go ahead and uh, select this one and uh, move this uh, handle a little bit like so and maybe go ahead and with the uh, shift uh, move uh, this one a little bit Okay, so this one I was not moving with the shift because if I would hold shift, it would be like so or uh, yeah. Uh, but uh, this one I do not want to go accidentally like so because that would be strange. So I want to have this as a straight line. Uh, but yeah, uh, as I said, uh, if you uh, are not very comfortable with the graph editor, you can just uh, easy is this one. And uh, yeah, you know, if you want to get the keyframe back to the normal keyframe, you can hold control and click uh, and uh, like so. But yeah, I will go back and I'm going to leave it uh, as I have it. Uh, now I am going to um, uh, duplicate this uh, layer. Uh, so I'm going to hit uh, control D and I'm going to uh, click on the on the new layer and I'm going to go to the fill and I'm going to change the color to maybe something like uh, this. OK, and I'm going to hit uh, you and I'm going to move uh, these keyframes a uh, little bit like uh, like so. OK, so right now we are going to have the first animation, then the second animation. I'm going to also click you on uh, this one and right now I can see uh, how do I want to do this? Uh, one thing that you do not need to do, uh, uh, but uh, you can do, is uh, I am going to go to the end of the layer and make it a little bit like so, so it doesn't need to have the whole space. 
and I can do the same thing uh, with the second one. So something like uh, this. Uh, all right. So uh, I have, and what I could do then is put these keyframes at the beginning and then move the whole uh, whole layer. So something like this, I will see this. Okay, this is fine. And I'm going to duplicate it uh, two more times. So right now I will hide the, the last one and I will go to the, this one and I'm going to choose uh, maybe color like uh, so. So, and I will move this and uh, the last one, uh, let me show it. Uh, I am going to, maybe I'm going to leave it as it is. So right now, if I'm going to hit space, I'm going to have uh, this kind of animation. So the, the last one uh, is going to be your uh, background. Uh, so if we want, uh, we can make this uh, white, if we want, or you can make it uh, something like this, or you can keep it as it was. Uh, it depends uh, on your preferences. But uh, yeah, something like uh, this. I think that the, this is fine. Uh, so yeah. Uh, now I am going to uh, select all of them and I'm going to put them uh, down because otherwise we wouldn't be able to see uh, uh, the other stuff that we have and I'm going to lock this because I do not want to uh, move this. Uh, now I'm going to show the oil and I'm going to align the oil to the center. So the oil right now has the anchor point in the center which is fine and I'm going to align it like so and like so and I said that I am going to lock uh, these layers and I did it and I'm going to unlock uh, the last one for the moment because I want to hit you to be able to see where are the keyframes and then I'm going to log it. Okay. <laughs> so uh, now uh, this oil, uh, I'm going to the, the very similar animation. So I'm going to hit S for the scale. And uh, yeah, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to uh, make it... Uh, I'm going to create a keyframe, first of all, <laughs> and I'm going to put it uh, to be maybe, uh, I don't know, uh, something which is almost uh, almost uh, zero. And then I will move maybe 10, 20, 30, something, 34 uh, frames. And I'm going to put this not that much. I'm going to just write in here uh, 100. And one more time, you can uh, only do easy ease on this one, F9. Or if you are a little bit familiar with the graph editor, uh, I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to, uh, let me, let me put it like so, put it maybe like this and this one a little bit more like so. Okay, I think that this is uh, fine. So we are going to have it like so. Uh, now I'm going to uh, get the beginning on, of the layer. I'm going to hold shift so it is going to snap. Uh, and right now I can move the whole layer. And maybe I can position it uh, in here. Uh, I will hit space and uh, yeah. I think that uh, this, is, uh, this is fine. Uh, now uh, I am going to put uh, the hand uh, to be next to the oil. That's not really important but uh, yeah it's like uh, better when I'm going to have them uh, next to each other and uh, yeah uh, I'm going to hit uh, I'm going to show the hand first of all and I'm going to hit uh, I'm going to position it where I want like uh, so and then I'm going to hit P for the position and I am going to we could uh, animate the position like this if we want but I prefer to uh, right click and choose uh, separate dimensions and right now we are going to be able to animate the X position and uh, Y position uh, separately and uh, the reason why this is fine is that uh, if you don't separate it you are going to have a little bit different graph editor as uh, uh, when you are going to have them separated you are going to have a uh, different graph than uh, hopefully makes sense <laughs> and if not uh, yeah uh, and so uh, this, uh, this CBD is going to animate and we are going to wait a few moments and we are going to position uh, the X position of the hand uh, like, uh, like so outside of the, of the view. And I'm going to create a keyframe and I will move maybe uh, 
10, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 25. You will adjust it maybe later on and I'm going to animate this uh, like uh, so. Now I do not want to waste time with the graph editor so I'm just going to uh, click F9 uh, so to ease this little bit. So I'm just going to have it like uh, so. Let me let me see this. So this is going to come. We will wait a few moments. Okay, uh, then we are going to come and we are going to stay for a few moments uh, like so. So I'm just going to create a new keyframe, but by clicking this, add or remove keyframe. And then I will go maybe uh, 20 frames, maybe 18, maybe 17, who knows. And I'm going to uh, animate this uh, animate this away like, uh, like uh, so. Okay, and uh, this keyframe, I can click with control on it, uh, so I do not need the easing. We are going to have the easing uh, when it's uh, leaving, uh, but it's not going to ease uh, when it's going to go in here, because there is no reason. Uh, right now, you could go ahead uh, one more time to the graph editor, uh, and I can uh, zoom in a little bit, and uh, I can go ahead and not like this and I can uh, play with this uh, keyframe if I want. I could also, if I want, make this uh, with F9 uh, to be easy ease and change it like uh, so. But as I said, uh, you do not need to worry about that. Uh, you can leave this uh, as a normal keyframe and it's going to be fine. Uh, we are not going to uh, like uh, pa parent uh, this hand uh, to the CBD oil. That's not something which is necessary in this case. So we are just going to um, animate the hand and we will try to do the animation uh, with the oil. So it's going to look like uh, the hand is uh, grabbing it. So I will go to the oil and I'm going to hit uh, P for the position and I'm going to uh, right click and separate dimensions and I'm going to uh, maybe in uh, here, uh, create the X position uh, keyframe and I will go maybe 20 frames or maybe a little bit less and I'm going to position it uh, in here like, uh, like so. And uh, this one, I am going to uh, click F9 to easy ease it and right now I will see. So it is going to be like so and uh, I, do not, I do not like it so I will move it a little bit like this. Okay, maybe the hand can go a little bit uh, slower. So right now I am just going to play with uh, this end keyframe, moving it a little bit and uh, this uh, hand. And the hand is going to have a longer animation because the hand is going to move the longer path and the CBD oil is going to only move from here to here. So it is going to have uh, less time to move. And uh, yeah, something like this. I think that this is uh, fine, but if you want, we can uh, play with this more. Uh, now, I can see that uh, if I'm going to zoom out a little bit, uh, I am going to make a little space in here, that uh, my background is going to disappear. So I'm going to this uh, shape layer 4, I'm going to unlock this and I'm going to uh, extend this uh, background to maybe in here. Later on, we will see. Uh, so yeah, we have this animation, uh, then the, the hand, and uh, right now uh, we are almost done, and I am just going very, very quickly animate this icon, so first of all I am going to show them, and uh, yeah, uh, I can go ahead and uh, align them uh, like uh, so. I put an align to the left, not to the center, because they have different uh, length of this text, so I'm going to align it uh, like so. And you have aligned to the selection, aligned to the composition, uh, but uh, yeah, you can align it to the composition and then move it, or you can align it uh, to the selection uh, like so. Okay, uh, I think that's uh, fine, and I can move this little bit with shift uh, down and this one little bit uh, up. Come on, like, uh, like so. Uh, so now, uh, I will uh, go to the oil and I'm going to hit U to see where uh, my animation ends, uh, so in here. And uh, right now I'm going to click on these icons and I'm going to hit uh, P for the position 
and uh, right now I do not need to uh, separate the dimensions uh, but uh, yeah I'm going to create the keyframes uh, then I'm going to uh, move maybe 20 frames 24 and I'm going to add uh, keyframes one more time and I will go to the first ones and I'm going to put this little bit uh, down like so and I'm going to select the, these ones and click F9 and uh, right now uh, I am going with uh, shift uh, click T for the transparency and I'm going to create a keyframe and I'm going to put it to the zero and then I will go to, to the second keyframes and I will put transparency to the 100. So right now it is going to animate from bottom to top and from opacity zero uh, to, uh, to 100. And uh, one more time what we can uh, do with the layers, we can uh, put it uh, like uh, so and uh, now I can move uh, this one little bit and I can move uh, this one little bit so it is going to go the, like this and like this and like so. So let me play this but I think that this is going to be fine. Uh, we have this animation, then hand and then we have uh, this. Okay, uh, now you can put it a little bit closer together, you can uh, change the fastness of this animation or uh, whatever. But I think that this is fine, uh, so what I'm going to do is I will go maybe somewhere in here and I'm going to click N, it is going to make uh, this uh, work area like so and I will right click and I'm going to click uh, trim comp to work area. Uh, so right now if I'm going to uh, save this as mp4, we are just going to have uh, this animation and it, it will end in here. Uh, one thing that I can do right now is click ctrl A to select everything and uh, close this. One more time and close this, yeah, and uh, I am going to unlock uh, everything except of the background and I can close this one and I'm going to select everything and I'm going to click this uh, motion blur and it is uh, going to automatically click uh, it in here, it, have, it has to be enabled also in here and this basically means that uh, the animation is going to be a little bit uh, blurry because that's how a little life works when you have something in the movement. Alright, uh, so right now I am going to very quickly first of all save my uh, After Effects file. You should usually, but yes, uh, save the files at the beginning. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to hit Ctrl S and I will go uh, to the place where I want to save it. So I have this uh, CBD oil and I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call this to be After Effects and I will go inside and a uh, very descriptive name untitled I am going to call this CBD oil maybe and I'm going to hit uh, save and right now we are going to export this so I will go to the file I will go to the export and um, you can export this directly in the After Effects, but I don't like it, I don't use it. Uh, I export it with the Media Encoder Q, so that's something which is part of the Creative Cloud and uh, yeah, you should have it, but uh, I do it all, always like this. So add to Adobe Media Encoder Q, this is going to open me this uh, Media Encoder uh, and it is going to take few moments, uh, but uh, yeah. So it's going to eventually, hopefully, open. All right. Uh, so eventually, it is going to uh, open you the Adobe Media Encoder, and uh, it is going to open you this, and uh, then you uh, you will have to uh, wait few moments, maybe few minutes, depends uh, on uh, on the video. Uh, but uh, it should appear like so. And uh, right now uh, we have uh, three options. Uh, this, we do not want to change this. We want to have this as uh, H264. Uh, in here, uh, I do not need to change anything in here. So uh, I can go ahead and click this and it is going to take a few mom moments uh, to open this. And uh, we are going to have uh, uh, some kind of options, but I do not I really need to change uh, anything in here so I'm just going to hit cancel and I will go in here and in here I'm going to choose the uh, place where I'm going to save this uh, so I'm going to create a new 
uh, folder and I'm going to call this to be uh, render and I will go inside and I'm going to call this to be CBD and I'm going to hit uh, save and I'm going to click this little arrow and it is going to start to uh, render this eventually and uh, yeah so this animation is uh, pretty uh, pretty so uh, like uh, it's not heavy so it is going to render me very fast and i will go uh, to the place where i have it like so and i'm going to open this and let me put it like on the repeat and uh, yeah uh, so this is <coughs> this is what we have uh, done uh, as I said at the beginning, I'm going to, or I already did this uh, tutorial, uh, the same tutorial in Adobe Animate, and I'm going to make uh, this tutorial also in the Spanish, also the After Effects and uh, Animate and yeah. So if anyone have watched until the end, uh, let me know in the comments and yeah, let me know if you like this video and uh, maybe some suggestions or anything. Uh, but yeah, this is it. Uh, thank you very much for your time. Hopefully you have learned something and uh, yeah, hopefully I will see you uh, in some other tutorials. Thank you. Goodbye. Have a nice day.